Hey y'all, welcome back. So we have another episode. So in this episode, I will be doing um, a course on the podcast and then you can also watch it on our YouTube channel at Uniquely Creations. So I kind of kept going back and forth, like what should I name this title of the podcast? We are going to name it Addressing Some Things. Sip Canada Dry. If you see the video, you see I got my Canada Dry. If not, love me a good ginger ale. We are going to call this addressing some things because it seems like on social media, they can't keep my name out their mouth. And it only has happened a couple of times. And I'm like, you know what? I prayed about this situation. Some of the situations have literally happened in 2021. Some of them have happened in 2022. And now we are in 2023. So it just kind of mind blows me because I'm like, hmm, I've talked to these people behind the scenes. So why do you want to bring it in front of the scenes? But as I get older, I'm also learning that people need an audience. And sometimes people need that audience to make them feel good, to make them feel like they didn't do any wrong. And they want them to side with them. So on that note, I'm always a one-man team, and I can handle myself. So with that being said, we are going to address this on the podcast. What better option? I don't want to bring it to social media because I don't want people to be in the business, and then people start assuming and making things worse. We will not display any names. I just don't think it's appropriate at this time because... Those people know who they are. We've already had these conversations behind social media. But since people want to bring me to social media and they want to talk about what Uniquely Creations is doing, what Jill is doing, what Jillian is doing, I'm going to tell you. So one of my things is if you really want to know what I'm doing, I would like for you to go to my website, www.uniquelycreations.com. And if you click on classes, you can join my subscription group for $9.99 a month. You can ask me any questions you want to ask me. You can get some behind the scenes things. And, you know, hopefully you find what you're looking for. Let's get into it. So, you know, you try to collab with other people. You know, you feel like, what's the word we say? Community over competition. That was my thing. Fuck all that now. Um, So, you know, we do the community over competition and it's like, I want to collab, I want to collab, I want to collab. And I was so down with collaborations. Still am down for collaborations, but definitely just being mindful. Definitely got both of my eyes open and not just one. Um, And, you know, with social media, you know, we start talking, we start bonding. Some of us, we get to meet in person. Some of us, we don't meet in person, but we talk so much. It's like we're besties. We're besties. And... Some of these people, you know, I've shared some things with and I felt like, okay, these is my friends. Like you confide in me, I confide in you. Well, I see that people, what they say, what's the word? Sometimes people don't have the right intentions. And I'm going to raise my hand. Oh, God, I need some lotion, y'all. Oh, let's put some lotion on. Oh, we don't go raise the hand. If y'all see in the video, y'all like, girl, you is crazy. Maybe girl got to put some lotion if she's going to be raising her hand on the video. But for the people that don't see it, that's okay. We're going to keep on going. But I'm not going to sit on here and I'm not going to play the victim. Because was I wrong in some in the situations? I was. And I'm going to say I was wrong because I could have learned how to communicate better. But one thing for sure, one thing for certain, I did communicate. I always can tell when people switch up on me. It's a Pisces intuition. And as, uh, ooh, and as us being women, we just have intuition anyway. So I'm like, something is off. What, what's going on? So I'm reaching out and, you know, I'm just trying to see what's going on. They're like, oh, nothing's wrong. People saying, oh, nothing's wrong. I'm good. I'm like, okay. But in the back of my head, I had already felt the shit. So I'm like, okay, I'm just going to wear and go ask again. Then I get messages basically like, Telling me how they feel, and I can only respect that. And when you do do business with each other or do business with other people, 
you have to, what I've learned is have um, contracts. So if something happens between you and that person, if it had to go to legal, you guys will have things covered. You don't want to say he say, she say, because the the lawyers and attorneys, they can't do nothing when he say, she say. We need things on documents, written in paper, some videos or something. So just take this. I've learned from these situations. Um, and also, if you have a problem with somebody, whether it's business related, whether it's not business related, go woman to woman. If that person... If you and that person don't see eye to eye, that's okay. We don't always have to see eye to eye. Just because I don't agree with you doesn't mean I don't like you or me or doesn't mean we can't talk. We can agree to disagree and that is healthy. Maybe I should name the podcast. We can agree to disagree. But it's another thing when we're in the same industry or close to the same industry. We're both women and we're black. When you, when society already looks at us as we can't come together, we're always fighting. I don't want to portray that on the media. They already look at us like we don't know no better. We don't know how to run a business. We're ghetto. This is what they say about us on the media. So when you guys get on social media and you're dogging out another woman, and if you are black and you dogging out another black woman, you just proving them right. Why not try to break what they think of us? And it just mind blows me because it's like, I don't understand why we can't ever just get along. Why always somebody got to be in competition? They took my idea. I said I was going to do this and they did that. It's just like, just do it. Just because somebody else is doing something and we hear this and I'm just so, it's like a goddamn record player that keep going on and on and on. Just do it. If this girl selling makeup, you want to sell makeup, do it. Like, I don't understand. It's like, you feel like you got to be the first one. You're never going to be the first one to do something. Somebody, like a lot of things have already been invented. We're just recreating it. Just like when it comes to fashion, bell bottoms, fanny packs, the stack shoes, all them, all those things happen back in the day. We just as millennials and, uh, you know, fashionists, fashionistas, whatever. We just, y'all, that make no sense. But y'all get what I'm saying. We just know how to put our own spin to it and make it more modern. So just do that. Talk. I just, I don't know. I don't want to make this a real dwelling. I don't want to dwell on this because it's really, I don't want to give it that much energy because one thing about me, I don't even do this. Like y'all never come, y'all never have seen me on social media and come with the drama. Y'all always see me giggling. Y'all always see me trying to promote, trying to market the business because at the end of the day, my business feeds me. My business makes sure I got everything that I need. Well, God, God does that. God funnels that through the business. But you get what I'm trying to say. So it's like. In a way, y'all, is cyberbullying. Yes, I pulled apart. Let's see what cyberbullying means. We're going to look up the correct definition because some of y'all be like, I'm not cyberbullying. You are. Let's define cyberbullying. Give me a minute. Lord have mercy. Define cyberbullying. Okay. So cyberbullying is cyberbullying includes sending, posting, sharing negative, harmful, false, or mean content about someone else. So have you ever done that before? That might be you. That might be you. You might be a cyber bully and don't even know it. So it's a lot of things I've seen on social media. I did this first. I did that first. I already talked about that. Get over that shit. You ain't did shit first. You ain't put yellow stones. I ain't put yellow stones on yellow shoe first. You know what I'm saying? So it just be mind blowing to me. And what if y'all was like talking to somebody and they wasn't as strong as me? Like, what if they committed suicide? Like you're one word and one sentence away from having someone commit suicide. 
the thing, the things that y'all said about me, the things that y'all have done to me. What if I wasn't strong enough to deal with it? And I was just like, fuck this. I'm taking my life. Like, y'all don't think about stuff like that, do y'all? Because what they say hurt people, hurt people. And since you are feeling feeling this thing inside that you could literally go get a therapist and talk to about or go directly to the person and talk to them about it and see. But sometimes y'all go directly and talk to the person and y'all say how y'all feel. And then what happens is, I guess it's not enough. So you go to social media, you got to get this audience. And I've seen where some of y'all got a little posse, five against six against one. And it blows me because y'all in the comments agreeing with somebody where y'all don't even know the goddamn story. That person and told you this is what happened. And you wasn't even in the midst of it. You don't even know what truly happened. But since that's your friend, you're going to just side with them. Instead of telling them, like, hey, sis, if y'all already talked about it, that's something y'all need to discuss. I appreciate you coming to me, but this is not a discussion for us to have. I tell my friends, tell me when I'm wrong. Tell me when I'm wrong. And I even call myself out. So a lot of times I'm going to call myself out. And I will say, like I say, I'm not going to play victim because I've messed up too. You know what I'm saying? I may have hurt feelings and I didn't know I've done it. So that's why I'm big on communication. Let me know what I did to you. Maybe I can fix it. Maybe I can't. But if I can't fix it, maybe we can have a discussion and I can learn so I don't do it to the next person. So, and a lot of times y'all behind these computer screens and I've heard people say, oh, I got her address. I'm going to come to her house. Okay. And it's so funny to me because it's like, y'all don't even really know who we know. It's like me telling somebody I'm going to come to the address, I'm going to beat them up. How you think somebody going to let you come to their residence and you do something to them? And then you blast it on social media. Like, that's crazy. And I've literally laughed. I laughed at situations because it wasn't a laugh like a ha-ha. It was a laugh like, this shit is sad. Because some of y'all are double my age or close to double my age. Y'all older than me. And with y'all being older than me, y'all should try to be guiding me, showing me the way. But here I am, just turned 30, and I got to show y'all how to do this the correct way. Because I'm not going to get on Instagram. I'm not going to dog y'all out. I'm not going to try to get an audience. As many things I done typed up and I was like, Jill, don't post this on the stories. I never posted on my stories. I never made a lie. I never made a post. I never built a posse for them to hate you. And then it's so sick because a lot of y'all like, the sick part is y'all like she blocked me. Hell yeah, I blocked you. I'm in control of what I want to see who I want to be and who I want to be um, in cahoots with. I don't want to be in cahoots with y'all because I see how y'all roll. And some of y'all don't even like me off of what somebody else has said about me and you don't even fucking know me. That's the crazy part. So it's like some of y'all really got some inter, y'all got some things deeper, some inner things that's going that may have happened, maybe some trauma from childhood, maybe some trauma that you just got along the way and you don't know how to deal with certain things. So a lot of people get on social media and they use it as their therapy or their outlet. It, depending on how you do that, it may not be the smartest thing to do because we're getting on these apps and we think or we know these people and we really don't. We could be talking to a serial killer. We could be talking to a murderer every single day and don't even know it. So it's like, I don't know. Get to know people for yourself. I'm not going to not like somebody because somebody else don't. That's where y'all have to grow up at. If my best friend didn't like somebody, sorry, best friend, that's between you and her. She ain't did nothing wrong to me. So you have to, that's just, that's how I am. You can say how you feel. You can say what you want about me. Y'all been doing it anyway. So this is how I wanted to address the situation. I don't plan on addressing the situation anymore. I'm sure y'all gonna watch this. 
I'm sure you're going to listen to this and you're going to send it to your friends. Thank y'all if y'all listening. Thank you for getting my views up. I truly, truly appreciate it. It's helping me. And that's why I brought it to my uh, podcast and my YouTube because why not make it worthwhile? Why not get the views? Uh, why not help my business? So y'all want to do it for free and blast me? Y'all go ahead and do it. I might have lost some customers. I honestly, I wasn't like this for the people that was riding with me. And that's not y'all wasn't really truly for me anyway. If y'all can let other people um, change our mind like that, because a lot of y'all I'm seeing y'all don't have a mind of your own and it's sick. That's my word. Y'all It's sick when you don't have a mind of your own. So that lets me know anybody that you cross paths with, you'll just change up. You'll just turn your back or stab them in the back. So it's like, y'all don't have no loyalty anyway. She don't like her. Okay. I don't like her either. Why you don't like her? Well, she did her wrong. You don't even know what happened. A lot of y'all don't even know what happened for say in the situations that I've had with people. We talked about it behind the scenes, but they wanted to come to y'all in public. I'm sorry. Yeah. In public instead of deal with it in private. So excuse to the ones that is listening and you think is this for me it is i just want to say to y'all thank y'all for pushing me through thank y'all for giving me a different outlook y'all helped me make sure i secure a lot of more things in my business y'all hurt my feelings i ain't gonna lie some of y'all hurt my feelings because i was like i would never do that to y'all publicly ever i'm gonna talk to y'all but it has made me a better person. And you're wondering, how is she going? God, I pray for y'all. And I deeply got on my knees and pray for y'all because I said they are hurting inside and we don't know what's going on. And that's why they have to come to social media. Maybe you never had a friend. Maybe you never had anyone genuine that really was like your friend and really cared about you. Maybe this is what you do. Maybe this is who you are. But I am not like that. Jillian Lee, I am not like that. So I'm not going to let you guys play me out to be something I'm not. We had an agree, we had a disagreement. Things didn't work out. You felt away. I felt away. We talked about it. Maybe we didn't talk about it. But you're not about to sit up here and dog me on social media. I'm not going to let that happen. So I'm going to respectfully, respectfully let it go. You should let it go too. Because if we have to bring this up again, it's just not going to be good. So y'all said, y'all got to say what y'all wanted to say. Y'all dog me out on social media. I'm getting to say what I get to say on my YouTube channel, on my podcast. And hopefully you can deal with this like I had to deal with this. I let y'all talk about me. I let y'all dog me out. I let y'all say some things that may have been true. I let y'all say some things that may have not been true. Only me and you really know what really happened. And if you want to get a a team and you know team up on me, that is fine. Because I got God on my side, and that's why y'all can't hold me down. You might have got me down maybe one or two days. I might have got on my feelings, but I got back up, and I'm so much stronger now. So thank you, thank you.